What's up guys? I hope you guys are all having a great day so far. We are officially done, besides that fire alarm that I thought I replaced the battery on, but I guess not. We are officially done with our Gilbert flip. I am super excited to give you guys the final walkthrough. We're actually starting our showings later today. I'm gonna list it and hopefully we get some showings throughout the weekend. Um, but this was a $48,000 renovation, so we were slightly over a budget on here. Uh, I believe I budgeted around $40,000, but uh, there's some changes obviously in the market since then. Uh, so I did want to spend a little bit extra money on this property. So enjoy the walkthrough guys. I will probably run some of the numbers as well. And then obviously once we get this house sold, I will follow up with a final video on this specific flip with the profits and all that kind of stuff. So let's start from the front here. This is a two story, 2,430 square foot house. This start to finish renovation took three and a half weeks. So we close on this early September. It is now the last day of September and uh, everything is looking incredible. We did staging, cleaning, all that kind of stuff was this week. So here we go. This is in the heart of Gilbert. Now, if you guys remember, I'll probably throw some before photos on as well, but there used to be a pony wall right here. It used to be extremely, extremely dark in this downstairs area. So obviously we went with a really light paint color. This is probably my favorite color to date so far. Um, and then we also added some lights as well to kind of just add a little bit more lighting in here. So this is what the stagers did. They decided to make this a formal dining area or just a normal dining area, which I really, really like. A uh, little seating area over here. And then you walk into the actual living room. This, uh, the sectional fits absolutely perfect. I love it. I love the way they did this because it keeps all this open as well. The one thing I mentioned before is I'm not the biggest fan of the floors that we chose, but every single flooring that we usually that we had went with previously was actually out of stock and it was like a three to four week wait time. So we just didn't have time for that. When you guys are flipping houses, sometimes you just have to go with what is available. So that's the same thing we do with the granite as well. It was what was available at the time when we went shopping. The kitchen, uh, we couldn't really do a whole lot to the kitchen just because of the way this house was built. They didn't really give you a whole lot of room. They kind of just tucked it away to the corner. Uh, we did run the backsplash all the way up to the ceiling, which I always recommend. I, um, some people cap it off at the cabinets, but uh, this was probably an extra 100 bucks to run it all the way up there. It looks incredible. We got uh, black accents, we got the black sink as well. We got all new stainless steel appliances. We actually spent a little extra money on these. That one is really expensive. And then we go into the guest bathroom, downstairs bathroom right here. We got the usual light fixtures. Now as you guys can see, all the lights are on. I prefer to leave the lights on for showing, so I actually left everything on. So when this house starts its showings, uh, everything will be on. I just prefer it that way. And then also I have the AC pretty low right now just because you want, every time someone walks through a house, you just want them to have a good experience. You don't want them to walk in and start sweating. So we're headed upstairs. This is the loft area. We replaced all the carpet here. Uh, we obviously replaced all the hardware and the light fixtures as well. New light fixture right there. All new hardware. We got the uh, black mat hardware. Master bedroom looks incredible. We got a walk-in closet. Uh, this is a pretty big walk-in closet, so we actually took and we actually took its own picture and put it on the MLS of just the closet alone because it could be a selling point. And then my favorite part of the house, guys. The master bathroom. This is by far the biggest transformation of the house. If you guys remember before, there was a tub right here, a wall separating a little small little shower right here. So to blow it out and uh, keep, we kept the tub at the other bathroom so we didn't really need two tubs here. We installed that light. We got his and her shower heads, which I think will be a huge selling point as well. And then we got a huge glass um, shower door right here. Went with the oversized mirror normal light fixture, all new toilets as well. We went a little bit different here. We went black and white. The other, the last couple of houses we've done, we've added a little bit of color to the actual tiling, but we went with white here with a little bit of discoloration. And then we went with just straight black flooring, which I think looks really good. It accents with the, uh, obviously all the hardware as well. So this glass door alone was $2,400, but I think it just, we needed something like this. It looks so much better. Now we're gonna walk into the rest of the house, which is just the additional three bedrooms right here. The AC feels great right now. I'm super happy with that. I think it'll be a pleasant showing experience. So this is where we left the tub at. Uh, we ran the tile all the way to the ceiling. I always recommend that. We added that light here as well. This light was an extra like 60 bucks to get installed, but 
I think like for showing purposes, it looks so much better with just a nice little LED light, white LED light. It just reflects on the tile much, much better. And then we got the normal light fixture here, got the mirror, and that's pretty much it. Like I never really show the bedrooms to you guys because it's literally just a box. So the only thing we did was carpet, fan, and obviously paint, bedroom two. Got the laundry room right here. And of course, the final bedroom. The staging was $2,600. I never really stage any of the other rooms. Like I never stage the guest bedrooms. Um, it just, it's like an additional couple hundred bucks, but it's just, it doesn't make sense. There's no need to. Um, everyone really kind of understands how to lay out a bedroom. So uh, it's usually the communal areas that always get staged because it gives people ideas and like inspiration on what they can do with their house. And then we're gonna go to the backyard. It's a little loud out here. We spent, I wanna say we spent about $3,000 on this yard. We added turf right here, we added some plants, we removed some plants as well, and then we got an additional like five tons of gravel back here to kind of just fill up the space a little bit. And then we obviously did exterior paint and we painted the exterior wall as well. All right guys, so this house we bought all in for $406,000. So after renovations and I'm assuming I'm listing this house at 3% commission, I get 1%. So our commission on this property that we're gonna have to pay to myself and the other real estate agent, the buyer agent is gonna be 4%. Um, we normally do two and a half percent, but my plan for this property is a little bit different than the other ones because we are seeing a slight shift in the market. We're starting to see a slowdown in the market. I'm actually under listing this property by about fifteen to twenty thousand dollars. I'm listing it just under half a million dollars at four hundred ninety-nine thousand. Just because once you get over that half a million dollar mark, it tends to scare a lot of buyers away, and they sometimes they will set their criteria or their agent will set their criteria to stop searching for houses at that half million dollar mark. So I wanted to go just under that in hopes of just attracting more showings, attracting more buyers and hopefully getting it bid up. And I'm offering obviously a higher commission as well. Obviously as a real estate agent, it's unethical to base your decisions or influence your client based on commission, but it always happens in the industry. So I normally, um, we're seeing a lot right now, 2.5% in the industry. I am offering 3%, which is slightly higher. It's obviously gonna eat into our overall profit, but like I said, the hopes of this house is it just shows really well, it looks really good. So we're just gonna try to flood with as many showings as possible this weekend and hopefully get it bid up. Um, and uh, we'll walk away with some decent profit on this. It certainly won't be our best profit one, um, but it'll sit, it'll, it, it'll put us in a comfortable position. I just know this area really well, so I was very confident in p picking up this house, even though it's not a huge margin project. I just know that the market here is strong. It's a great HOA subdivision. I have a rental that's down the street in the same HOA, so I just know it's a very, very highly sought after area, and that's really the main reason on why we did this. But overall, super happy with this project, super happy how it turned out. Uh, I was a little bit worried with the flooring and everything when we first originally installed it because <laughs> The, the paint on the walls was still the old paint and with the new flooring it just looked really odd but I think everything turned out great. I'm happy with the exterior paint. I'm happy with the color that we went with on the interior as well. The staging is incredible. Uh, so now the next step is just to get this thing on the market. Hopefully get a ton of showings. Hopefully get a ton of interest. Hopefully get a ton of offers and I will keep you guys updated. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always if you guys are interested in Arizona real estate market. I am a licensed real estate agent, whether that be buying or selling your house here. I'd love to work with you guys. 99% of my referrals come from YouTube videos, come from my Instagram. So I do appreciate it guys. Be sure to reach out or email me if you guys do have interest in that. And you guys can follow my Instagram and TikTok down below.